Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the basic motion detection function on the Uniview system through the web browser and on the NVR local GUI. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the motion detection function in the web browser of the recorder itself. So the first thing you want to do is pull up your browser Internet Explorer as an example, okay? And then you're going to type in the URL, the IP address of the recorder up here. Once you do that, you're going to see the login page for the recorder and you're going to type in your credentials. So I'm going to put in admin for the username and my password that I created. Hit login. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and verify I can see the camera view that I want. So in this example, it's going to be camera two, okay? Next step is to go to the setup menu here, and then I'm gonna to go to the where it says camera, and then I'm gonna to go to motion here, okay? And then I'm gonna select the camera that I want. Okay, and then once I do that, uh, you're gonna notice that the motion option is on and off, so of course you wanna make sure it's uh, on. And then you're gonna draw an area that you want, okay? So uh, by default, the whole area is gonna be the whole entire view, okay? But keep in mind that sometimes that might not, uh, be beneficial because you may be covering areas that you don't really particularly want motion notification, like a busy street for example, okay? So just keep in mind that if there's areas that you don't want to cover for motion, you can always modify the region, okay? So what you can do is just clear the area and then just kind of redraw it the way that you want, the best you can. So for this example, I'm going to try to cut out as much of the other areas as best as possible. And then once I do that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make sure that that's the view that I want, okay? Then next, you're gonna go to the worst is sensitivity. Sensitivity, uh, you have between low and high. So the higher the sensitivity, the more it's gonna pick up an object or that's in motion. The lower the sensitivity, the less it's gonna pick it up. A rule of thumb I like to go by is the farther away an object is, the higher the sensitivity they like to set because that means the object is smaller so it's harder for it to detect. So in that example, then you may wanna increase the sensitivity. If an object is a much closer, let's say like a person that's standing a few feet away from a door, then you don't have to have it as high, okay? So just keep that in mind. Once you set the sensitivity level, then you wanna go to the arming schedule tab. And then of course, the schedule is set to 24 seven by default, but you can always modify it for the days that you want. So in this example, of course, just make sure you set it to all or whatever days that you want, click okay. Next step is to go to the trigger actions to trigger what you want to happen when the motion is detected. Now, one of the most important ones is to make sure the recording is enabled, okay? So in this example, D2 is checked. Notice here you can also check other things like buzzer if the motion is detected, uh, an email notification, alarm outputs so if you have sensors and alarm relay outputs connected to the back of the recorder, and so forth, okay? So once you verify everything that you want, go ahead and click save and you'll see the operation succeeded at the bottom here. Then next, you wanna to go to the schedule. So you wanna set up a recording schedule uh, that's coinciding with the type of event that you're setting up. So in this example, I'm gonna to go to D2, and then uh, you'll notice here there's different color codes for the different types of events. So notice here, motion is green. It's already set to green, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. You click edit, then under this drop-down menu, you're gonna select whatever you want. So this example would be motion, and then copy to all the days you want, click OK and after that you just go ahead and click save. Okay, and then you'll see the operation succeeded at the bottom of the screen here. Next, uh, I like to go back to the live view, go back to the camera that I want, and then you, know, then you can go ahead and test it out. So now we're gonna demonstrate this in action. Okay, so before we demonstrate the motion detection in action, I'm gonna sh uh, show you how to uh, do some search and playback for the uh, events, okay? So there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, one, if you go to playback here, and then you go to normal, and then you select the camera. You'll notice here in the time graph at the bottom here, it's um, pink or reddish for event, okay? You can search that way, but that means it's gonna take much longer because you're gonna have to fast forward uh, or rewind to the time that you want. So a more efficient method is actually to uh, go ahead and uh, go to event, and then you'll see here you select uh, motion detection, of course out of the options here, and then you'll select the camera, and then you'll hit search, and then uh, when the person or the object is uh, being detected, you just kind of want to pay attention to the timestamp. Uh, and then note here under the event, you want to go to the most recent time. And then if it doesn't pop up right away, you can always you know, refresh the screen until that uh, event time tab 
shows up and then most likely that's gonna be the one that you're looking for, okay? So just keep that in mind. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna demonstrate this in action. So we're gonna have a person walk through the detection area and then we're gonna go ahead and search for that clip through that particular method, okay? So once this person, she walks through, as you can see here, Okay, so the time, we're gonna go back to the most recent. So we're gonna go to playback. And on my clock here, it's about 10.49. So the time that she walked through is about 10.40, 10.49. I'm gonna to go, to go to event here, select motion detection, camera two, and try to search for that time. If it doesn't show up right away, then I'm gonna refresh the screen, okay? And then of course, you wanna click the double arrow button to go to the most recent one. So let me go back again. Wait a few moments here. Again, select event, motion detection, and that camera. Hit search. Click the double arrow button. And then I'm gonna hit play. And if she doesn't pop up right away, then that means I'll just refresh the screen again and then wait for the more recent events to show up. So I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so now you see that she just walked through, okay? So that's how you do it through the motion detection search on the web browser interface. And now I'm gonna show you how to set up the motion detection function on the NVR local GUI interface, okay? So it's gonna be kind of similar to what we did on the web browser. So the first thing that you wanna do is once you can verify the, uh, the live view, you're gonna click on menu and then you're gonna go into where it says alarm here, okay? You're gonna notice a bunch of different options here, so of course you're gonna highlight motion, and then make sure that you have the right camera selected, so in this example we used uh, D2, the second camera, okay? Make sure that the enable checkbox is uh, checked, and then you'll notice that the, uh, the motion detection grid, you can redraw it however you see fit, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and redraw this again. There you see the grid there. Under the trigger actions, of course, you wanna make sure at least the recording is enabled, which it is, okay? And then note that you have other functions that you can trigger as well too, okay? You click okay. Then the arming schedule, similar to what we had on the web browser interface. So of course, uh, you know, select all the days that you want. Apply, okay, all right? And then again, you have the sensitivity slide bar here. So again, the higher the sensitivity level, the more it's gonna pick up an object, okay? And the lower the sensitivity, then that's gonna pick up objects a lot less. So just adjust it accordingly, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and click apply, all right? Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, create the, the motion recording schedule. So you're gonna click on storage here, and then under the recording, you're gonna select the correct camera. Of course, make sure the enable schedule is checked, okay? And then of course, uh, make sure that the, uh, that, uh, the schedule color is correct. So in this example, it's motion, so it should be all green, but to adjust it, you just click on edit here, and then uh, select from the drop down menu motion, okay? And then of course, make sure it's set to all the days that you want, and then go ahead and click apply, okay? And then uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate how to search for the motion detection clip in the interface, okay? So as you can see, she's walking through the detection area in the upper right hand corner. There's uh, the recording icon, which means it's recording, and also there's a double figure that's showing that there's motion detection, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to do a playback to search for that clip. Now keep in mind, if you do playback, there's a couple ways to do this. One is doing a historical playback where you select the camera, and then you'll note here on the time bar, there's a pink timeline color here for event. You can technically search for it that way, but that method is kind of inefficient because you gotta, play back through the clip, you know, fast forward, rewind, which takes a little bit longer. So a more faster way to do it is go to where it says video retrieval here. And then under the type, you're gonna select motion and then select the camera, of course, date and time, and then hit search. Once you hit search, you're gonna see a bunch of clips. So you're gonna try to go to the most recent clip here, okay? So this one uh, is the most recent one. So we're gonna try to see if we can find her here. Click on it, hit play and then we'll just wait momentarily here, okay? So as you can see, she's already walking through the detection area. It's already picking up a couple people, so that's good. 
And that's how you do it. That's the more efficient way of how to search for uh, motion detection on the NVR GUI. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the motion detection function on the NVR local interface and on the web browser. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified for future videos. Once again, thanks for watching.